different songs. Dressed like Han Solo there. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, My Bologna <laughs> is what he did ah. for that one. Is uh, having fun with that. But speaking of having fun, getting to be that time of year where people have fun by checking out football in the state of Iowa. When we're talking football, the Hawkeyes come to mind, and that's why that's we have right. Joe Schmelke here as we are going to talk a little Hawkeye football. He's president of the Polk County Eye Club as we get set for the new season. That's so right. good, bad, ugly. What do we have yeah, in store for us? That's what I asked yeah. him when he came in. How much am I, I going to suffer? I yeah, as a Hawkeye fan. Yeah, I, I was saying life is about expectations, particularly in in sports. And I mean, we went. If if Iowa State wins five games this year, as an example, they're going to sign Rhodes to a new contract probably. If Iowa wins five games, you're probably going to be very very upset with Ferentz. So right. it's all about expectations and. I think we're going to have a pretty decent team. I think we got a really good shot at uh, at having a good team, but we got to stay healthy. C.J. Beathard is, you know, he's an awesome quarterback, he's but you got to keep Jesus, him healthy. But now he cut his hair. So. He did. He cut his hair. Oh, he, oh you know what that could mean. Yeah. You know, we've and, read those and, stories. Uh, and skin color too. There yeah, you yeah. Know. But uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, th I think he's really one of the big keys. You keep him healthy. Um, he's the kind of guy that uh, you know he can just go on a run and he can do a lot of things. He can win games for you, particularly at the end of the end of a game. Like you can pull something out and win it and win a game. So. So I think we're going to be a really fun team. That's going to be the, probably the best thing about this year is it's going to be a lot of fun to be over there, I think. You're not going to be out of a game. Um, I think they're going to have to throw the ball around and do some things, and uh, it's going to be kind of an exciting environment over there. Should the big headlines you're hearing right now have to do with the stadium, that they're trying yeah. to raise a ton of money. They just had one that, uh, thing approved where they're going to be yeah. fixing up part of uh, one side of the, the stadium. Of the but, stadium. yeah, that's the big thing you're hearing right now, just raising a lot of money to improve yeah. the facility. Is, is that what it takes to get people excited about Hawkeye football again oh. or the team? What's it going to take? Take to get I think I think wins goal. would would make it more more exciting than uh, than the stadium. But you know you got to win. You got to play some exciting football, mm -hmm. and you got to do some of the things that, that that need to take place to win at home. In particular, we used to win at home all the time. Right. We went through a stretch there where we didn't lose at Kinnick hardly at all. And in the last five or so years, we just we found ways to lose almost. Instead mm -hmm. of finding ways to win, we found ways to lose. Special teams in particular. But yeah, the stadium is a big deal. Polk County Eye Club's helping to raise money for that. Um, you know, I think there's a huge demand for the luxury suites mm -hmm. and uh, really the club seats. Club seats, there's a huge waiting list for club seats. It's very expensive to get into those things, but people want them. They want to be able to kind of go into almost a sports bar type environment, have a drink, come back out, sit in a sit in a seat, watch the game. Outside. Go back, yeah, mm -hmm. go inside and outside. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, with the weather the way it is in Iowa, you know, some of those games early on are so hot. That's yeah. kind of nice going to the air conditioning for a little while. And then games at the end of the season, so cold, it's nice to get out now, of Now, speaking of seats in general, uh, there was a time when you could not get a seat. Yeah. You know, for the stadium, uh, what's the situation now? Are you able to go up and buy? Oh, yeah. buy now a you ticket? can. <laughs> yeah, now you can. Now this you to this to. year, at least, at least right now, you're going to be able to. Yeah, there's. Uh, I, I think ticket sales are down a fair amount. The students, in particular, the student section has uh, has really kind of dropped off. I think they've. You know they got they got so tough on the students and uh, drinking and and different things over there that uh, I think some of them just said you know we'll just we'll just have a party at our house and watch it on TV type mm -hmm. of thing and, and and that's kind of created some backlash so yeah, tickets ticket sales are not where they want to be and and after five straight years of really kind of mediocre records, where do you sit when you go to the games uh, we get good seats through the I Club um, we're at about the about the 40 yard line about uh, I don't know 30 rows up I think it now is. what would you it's tell somebody group, what would you tell group. somebody who's never been to a game there over in Iowa City yeah. that's, that's thinking about going they're going ah, I'm not sure I want to travel two hours to go to Iowa City to go see a football game what right. would you tell them I would I would tell them they're nuts not to go I mean I, I think there's people in life where you either watch the game or you're part of the game and if you go to Iowa City and you go to Kinnick you're part of the game I mean you're out there and you're tailgating and you're hanging out I mean I see friends of mine from Chicago people I haven't seen forever um, you know you're hanging out you're having a great tailgate and then you go into the game I tell them to go into the game early there's so much stuff that goes on at 20 minutes half an hour before kickoff and the ability you know for my kids and things like that when we go in and like what kind of stuff are you talk about I, I've never been to a game at Kinnick I mean, they, they, they start, you know, the band comes out onto the field early, and they start to play, and then you've got the national anthem as an example, which I think is a really, really cool thing. And then the team starts to come down uh, out of their locker room, and they put it up on the big video boards and everything like that, and you see them walking down the tunnel, and they're playing back in black. And uh, it's, it, it's just a really cool experience, and then they all get out there, and you got the anticipation, and then they run out onto the field and the band's playing, and everybody's going Your crazy. Your heart starts beating a little yeah, faster. Yeah, and you're just like, you know, it, it, it's a ton of fun. It's just great. 
So. And you were saying Coach Ferentz is trying to have more of a presence besides just being over in his neck of the woods. He wants to get to know people all across the state to just kind of revive what uh, Hawkeye Nation is all about. Well, I, I think they, I think the university's you know looking at it and saying we got a great guy, and I don't think people really know him. And part of that's been by design. You know, he's like, leave me alone. I want to go coach right. mm -hmm. type thing. Well, now I think they're coming out and saying, hey, this guy is really good. And if you really know him, and you know, I've got to know Kirk a little bit and, and Mary as well. I mean, they're off the charts great people. Mm -hmm. They're not just a football coach. I mean, they are great community members. They're donating money to the university hospitals, the university. a lot of time. Um, they do a ton of extra things, and I just think people don't know Kirk, and, you know, that that's his fault. I mean, he, right. I think he can be out true. there well, talking to people. Is he going to correct that in the, in the near future, you think? It, yeah. yeah, I think they're doing a lot more. You saw the interview. You know, uh, uh, with some other people, and there's there's things on the local radios here and stuff like that. Mary's, I think, coming out more. We have tried to get Mary to come over here several times. She's been over to one or two ICOB events, but people absolutely love her. Yeah, yeah she's you know, been here. She, she's been here. She was on our show, and she was amazing. She's she was a great right. woman. She's she's just outstanding. What she's doing over there at the university, you know, for University Children's Hospital is, mm -hmm. is phenomenal. So Look, I think I need to do more of that. There's a little bit of pressure on this team, and let's mm -hmm. be honest about that. And, and sure. it, you know, I heard the Northwestern coach a few years back say, uh, in pre when he was asked about preparing for Iowa, he said, it, it's not hard to do because they do the same thing every year. Yeah. And, you know, as, a, as an armchair quarterback, Maybe that needs to change. Maybe it needs to become more fun, more unpredictable. Um, and I think that's what people are looking for this year. Do, do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I think you got to shake it up a little bit. You, you've got to do what you do well. And I think that's, that's Kirk's philosophy. It's like, well, I'd rather do something simple and do it very, very well than do something exotic or, you know, whatever. And, right. And, and, and be very, you know, lose the game. But we've got to play a lot better on special teams. I mean, you can go back five years ago. The, the decline of our program started in uh back in uh it's kirk. 2010 uh, yeah it was kirk, kirk right there calling right there, there. My ear. And, and, and that was the, like, on the fake punt against uh, wisconsin yeah you know, we had that game <laughs> and for some reason or another we made a coaching error we put in our punt return team mm -hmm. and you know they took advantage and went down scored so when are things kicking off if people are getting excited for football mm -hmm. season we want to see what this team can do when are things kicking off and what are the big games yeah. that we're looking yeah. forward to well i think things are going to kick off we're going to do uh we're doing polk county icloves doing a radio show hawkeynation.com uh, radio show is going to be uh, on uh, on uh, Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock this year. Kirk moved uh, practices now are in the morning, so Kirk's doing his radio show earlier mm -hmm. in the evening. So we'll be at 8 o'clock at Jethro's every Wednesday night. Uh, we broadcast live from there, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, you got a lot of the good home games. We're going to do game watches out there at Jethro's on 22nd Street. Iowa State game, that's going to be a big game. That's going to be huge. Always huge. Always I huge. think it's a big game for both coaches. Probably not as big for Ferentz, but certainly a big one for Rhodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if he doesn't win that and have good success against Iowa the last few years, I, I don't think he's probably still around. And, and Kirk's <laughs> got to turn that around a little yeah. bit, too. So Pittsburgh game will be a lot of fun. You want to talk about a home game to go to? Okay. That Pittsburgh game is going to be a night game. Um, I think it'll be a ton of fun over there. Night games are a great time. Okay. And the environment, the weather holds up. It's not always easy awesome. to get over there. I know if you're a no. huge fan, you make it the effort. But if mm -hmm. you have a busy schedule, you want to know. It's like, okay, if I want to go see this great team in action, what are the yeah. games I need to get over and yeah. watch? So that'd be a good one to check. Yeah, out. that'd be an awesome one. We take our Hawkeye. Uh, the, 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 there it is, Hawkeye Nation RV, yeah. HawkeyeNation.com RV. So look for that. We're in the north lot and uh, come by. Well, that's where we hold our Polk County Eye Club tailgates. There you go. Okay. Everybody's kind of invited I like to the that. New logo. I was gonna logo's say, if you're not a part of it, can you just stop by and hang out? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I have to say, I, I. I didn't go to school here for college, but I'm a supporter of our local uh, colleges. And I, when I was in New York, I hooked up with the Hawkeye yeah. Nation that was in New York City. And we went out to well, a game in Massachusetts, had a blast. I mean, yeah. people are supportive yeah. of this yeah. team all across the country. Everywhere you go, I mean, there's a huge following down yeah. in Phoenix and, mm -hmm. and really all across the country. There's a ton of Hawk fans everywhere. Now, if so you do want to get to know Kirk a little better, don't forget, uh, on this station, uh, the coaches' shows are going to air on Sunday yeah. nights now. Yeah, uh, 10 o'clock is when it's going to be on, so you can check out uh, both the Iowa and also Iowa State coaches' shows. Will be, but the Hawkeyes will be first. That's a great deal for you guys. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, so looking forward to it. Okay. All right, go Hawks. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Thanks, Thanks man. Good Thank to see you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. This is Great Day Live on KCWI. Thank you.